Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a car and you need to test camshaft position sensors. Stay with us, we'll explain how that works guys. It will work on 9 out of 10 cars. It's super simple procedure and you can find out if your camshaft position sensor is working correctly, if you need to replace it and all that stuff. Now, uh, this is very simple matter. We will explain what to do, what not to do because it can cause damage to the engine computer, fuses, things like that. So make sure you stay until the end. Before we start, let me tell you guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools, new camshaft position sensor, anything uh, for your vehicle guys, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Something else, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least guys two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. So with that being said guys, okay. Let's explain what we have specifically here, guys. Okay, this is a Hyundai, but doesn't matter if it's a Hyundai, BMW, Mercedes, we use that method on multiple vehicles, guys. And if you have a vehicle, okay, most likely sooner or later you have electrical components. Vehicles nowadays are super complicated, guys. And if you want to see how to fix electrical components, diagnostics, fuses, anything like that, check out our second channel, Electrical Car Repair Life. We have so much information that can save you thousands of dollars on car repairs, guys. So. Let me show you what we have here, guys. Okay, this is a camshaft position sensor. On a four-cylinder engine, most likely, on newer engines, you will have two sensors. One will be for the intake camshaft, one for the exhaust. You can see we have two of them. Now, on some engines, you may have a single sensor. It really depends if you have a variable timing, things like that. But newer vehicles will have two of them. The procedure will be about the same for both of them. Let's explain what we need to do. You need to get inside your vehicle, guys, and when you get inside your vehicle, you need to turn the ignition switch on. Okay, when you see the dash lights come on, okay, but do not start the car, okay? Just turn the ignition to the second position until you see the lights on. Now, you should be very careful now not to, okay, not to burn your engine computer fuses, okay, and or even cause uh, engine computer problems, guys. So, this is the connector for the camshaft position sensor, that, that right here, guys. It consists of three wires. We need to find which wire is negative, ground, most likely you have one ground wire, you have one um, uh, power wire which is known as the battery wire and it will be the same voltage as what you have in your ba car battery. And then you have a third wire which is coming from the engine computer, it's known as a signal wire and it should be around 4.8 or around 5 volts. Now how you can do that, get a cheap, uh, cheap voltmeter, if you want to find one we'll put the link in the description of the video below. And uh, get that voltmeter, guys. Set it at 20 volts. Now, let's poke here and here on the outsides. Okay, let's poke on the outsides and you will see what we have here, guys. On the outsides, okay, let me just position. Okay, that's not working, guys. Let's go on the inside and one of the sides. Oh, negative 12.37. So that tells us that we need to swap, okay, switch the probes, okay, and now most likely guys okay okay you can see right now we're going to keep the black in the middle means the outside 12.36 volts is the battery wire and the other outside wire we're going to have will be the signal wire perfect now what we're going to do next you just need to turn the ignition switch off for that uh, procedure now connecting the sensor but we will not that's our risk guys right here the wires that we have now, ground wire is uh, green and the signal wire is uh, blue with orange. We are going to get the probes, push them through the back and see if we have communication now. Okay, check it out now. And what do we have guys? Okay, we need to push them in until we have 4.8 volts guys. Okay, here. So, let's go ahead and see if we can do that now. Okay, perfect. This is the camshaft position sensor now. Okay, I'm going to show you what we're going to do now, guys. Okay, I'm trying to... Okay, perfect. Position it like that. If everything works correctly, you should get 4.8. The moment you get a metal object, bigger metal object next to that sensor, it should drop to zero, like a socket. Check it out now. Zero. When I remove it, we have 4.8. Zero. 4.8. Zero. 4.8. This sensor, it's kind of like an on and off switch, guys. It tells the computer, okay, when the camshaft uh, goes through that certain position. So, it's practically on and off switch. Tells you what you need to do, okay. 
Uh, and uh, it's pretty simple. If nothing changes, it means that the sensor is bad and you need to replace it. Or if you have a constant zero, it means that the sensor is stuck as well. So you should go from four point, uh, around five volts to zero, guys. And if it doesn't change, you have a bad sensor. So hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching and see you next time.